Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19, played exclusively on the Xbox One console. You are watching JCTV and this is Shima Sovo series, uh, episode number 10. Um, in this episode, we are sowing the uh, oats. We are planting or seeding oats in field number 15. We're going to harvest the cotton that uh, we planted we're finally going to get to take the uh, John Deere DLC for a spin uh, you know that big huge machine that won't fit in uh, any of my sheds uh, over there in field number four is where our cotton is growing it's almost ready to harvest it should be done by the time we're uh, done with these oats here so let's uh, sit back relax uh, enjoy the time lapse and let's get things started All right, the one thing we forgot to do earlier was uh, put lime on uh, field number 15. It's still saying it requires lime, even though we're seeding and uh, planting and harvesting or whatnot. But whatever, to improve the yield and to satisfy the game, we will lease a lime spreader, fill it up, and truck on over to field number 15 and lay down a strip of lime.
Okay, so here's the uh, John Deere uh, cotton harvester that was recently released. Uh, this is our first time using it, so uh, I'm going to explain a little bit, even though the majority of you have probably already used the hell out of this machine and know exactly what it does, but for the first time viewer, uh, humor me. So your John Deere uh, round bale cotton harvester has four stages. So when you're going through um, harvesting cotton, you'll notice that the first stage looks like this, and when you get to 100%, it's going to jump down to 25% and then another line will appear on top of that uh, outlining the certain stages. You have to go through four stages at 2600 liters per stage or 2600 pounds of cotton per stage giving you a round bale roughly just over 10,000 pounds. So if you figure the old cotton harvester gave you a 40,000 pound bale this one with the red trailer that we're using that holds four bales will give you four round bales at just over 10,000 pounds per bale. So again, 40,000 pounds of cotton per load. It's really the same, but this machine looks uh, a lot better than the case cotton harvester does. Um, I like this a little bit. So we'll skip forward a little bit and uh, we'll show you the different stages. All right, we're at 97%. There we go. See, you can see it goes down to 25%, and then the second stage begins. Uh, you'll go through that four times before you actually see a bale of cotton come out of the back of that machine. And here is stage two coming up. There it goes. Now, while we're watching this here, uh, my worker did actually screw up, but for some reason he came halfway down the field, turned around and went back to the beginning again, and then did the same thing again. So I'm not sure if uh, the bottom of this map is the, the right place to start. Maybe we should uh, start at the top of the field. But uh, let's fast forward. We'll look for stage number three. And Q stage number three, we're now at, uh, in a minute, give me a couple seconds here, hurry up, Mr. Harvester, there we go, we're at 75% of a bale of cotton, so uh, we'll fast forward a little bit and we'll show you what stage four looks like.
All right, and we'll skip right ahead to the end of stage number four. So you'll see that uh, the top bar goes right down to zero, and then presto, out comes your bale of cotton, and the machine doesn't even stop. It continues rolling the next bale of cotton while you're driving. Now you have two choices here. You can stop the machine and unload the bale manually, or you can just let it go and let the next bale push it off. But we're going to unload it manually because we're going to load it up into the truck. And here you see to pick up the bale, you have to grab it from uh, the end. You can't grab it from uh, the yellow sides. So we'll just put the trailer in operating position and presto, it sucks it right up into the trailer. Easy peasy. Let's get going and we'll launch the rest of this. And you'll see here, this is what I was talking about before. Uh, if you leave the bale of cotton on the back of the uh, cotton harvester, uh, as soon as it hits 100%, uh, it'll automatically drop it off. And then uh, it'll spit the other one out. So really, what you could do is just start it and then forget about it. Uh, you don't even need to watch it. As long as it's on a field, it'll just keep going and it'll just keep spitting cotton bales out. And when you want to go pick them up, you can go pick them up.
The one thing I did notice about the uh, John Deere cotton harvester is that uh, you can't unload partial bales of cotton. It won't let you. Um, you have to drive around with it in there. Uh, you can't fold the harvester while it's in there. And you can't empty the harvester at all. You have to wait till you have a full bale. So you're constantly driving around with a unfolded harvester. And when it is unfolded, the ass end of it won't fit in any of your sheds. Because you need to fold it. But you can't. Because you need to unload it. But you can't. Okay, so we've turned our cultivator loose on the cotton field. We're probably going to just keep planting cotton over and over and over again because, I don't know, that's what we do. For now, we're uh, the grass here is ready to mow, but this time we're not going to make silage bales. I think uh, we're going to mow the grass, then tet it, and then windrow it, and then pick it up with the forage harvester and uh, start storing some hay. So uh, we'll have to go get a forage wagon to uh, put all of that stuff in. But for now, uh, that's what we're going to do, I think. So let's start the mower, and then we'll drive on over and grab the titter. And then uh, we'll start that off. And that will wrap it up for this episode, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like these series, uh, don't forget to check out my other series as well on Estancia Lapacho, Ravenport, uh, Goldcrest Valley from FS17. Um, there's lots on there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video as well. Click that notification button so you can be alerted every time we upload new content. For now, this is JCTV saying, see you later.